I've trawled through 350 of the UK's largest listed companies to find those which seem to have everything. With plans announced to introduce the new British ISA, I believe there could be a lot of interest in British shares over the next year. I've selected companies based on the following criteria. Firstly, they must have a current dividend yield of 3% or more. I personally find dividends extremely motivating, which keeps me investing for the long term. I do, of course, always reinvest the dividends. But just paying a dividend is not enough. They must also have grown that dividend for at least the last seven years in a row. And finally, the share price growth over the last five years must have beaten the index they are in. So in essence, I want companies which pay a good dividend, which increases from year to year, and I also want the share price to grow as well. In this video, I'll be looking at individual companies, investment trusts which invest in real estate, also known as REITs. And finally, I'll look at other investment trusts. This is not investment advice and is for entertainment purposes only. So let's look first at the eight individual companies which obey all of the criteria I mentioned. I'll reveal them in reverse order of total return over the last five years. At number eight is a British pharmaceutical company called Hikma, which supplies nearly 800 products to hospitals, physicians and pharmacists. The share price has increased almost 10% over the last five years. It pays a dividend yield of 3% spread over two payments a year. This screen shows the dividend growth and Hikma has been able to grow the dividend for the last 12 years in a row. If you had invested £1,000 in Hikma five years ago and reinvested the dividends, the value of your holding would now be worth £1,249. At number seven is United Utilities, the UK's largest listed water company, supplying its services to over 7.3 million people. For transparency, I've owned shares in this company for several years. The shares have increased in value by 18.5% over the last five years, and they also pay a decent dividend of 4.6% spread over two payments a year. United Utilities has managed to grow the dividend for 12 years in a row. If you had invested £1,000 five years ago, it would now be worth £1,415 with dividends reinvested. At number six is another water company, Seven Trent, which supplies 4.6 million households across the Midlands and Wales. The shares are up nearly 22% and they pay a yield of 4.4% spread over two payments a year. Seven Trent has managed to raise the dividend for the last seven years in a row. So here we have yet another company which pays decent dividends, which has grown over time as well as the share price. £1,000 invested five years ago would now be worth £1,439 at the time of this video. At number five is National Grid. It is one of the largest investor-owned utility companies in the world, supplying electricity and gas to millions of customers. The shares are up. 17.5% over the last five years and the dividend is a decent 5.5% spread over two yearly payments. National Grid has raised the dividends for more than 24 years in a row. For transparency, I've held this company for well over a decade and it's one of my all-time favourites. £1,000 invested five years ago would now be worth £1,471, including dividends. If you are finding this information useful, then please hit the like button as it really helps out the channel. At number four is RS Group. This company is a distributor of industrial and electrical products and is based in London. It serves over 1 million customers in over 80 countries. The share price over the last five years is up over 30% and the yield is 3.3% spread over two payments a year. Dividends have been increasing seven years in a row. If you had invested £1,000 in RS Group five years ago, it would now be worth £1,471. At number three is Drax Group. Drax is a power generation company in North Yorkshire. Once a coal-fired power station, it has now been transformed into the UK's single largest generator of renewable electricity. The shares are up 27.8% over the last five years. The dividend yield is 4.9% spread over two payments a year. Drax has also managed to raise the dividend consistently for the last seven years. £1,000 invested in Drax five years ago with dividends reinvested would now be worth £1,523. 
At number two is Smurfit Kappa. This company specializes in corrugated and paper-based packaging. With the huge increase in parcel deliveries from the likes of Amazon, I'm not surprised this company is doing well. I'm very tempted to snap up some shares myself. The share price is up 64% over the last five years and they pay a very respectable dividend of 4% spread over two payments a year. And just look at the dividend history. A company that not only pays a decent dividend but can afford to raise it year after year is a very good sign indeed. Dividends have increased 12 years in a row. £1,000 invested five years ago would now be worth £1,847 today. Now once a month I reveal exactly which shares I've been buying and selling. Why not subscribe to the channel to follow my journey? At number one is Intermediate Capital Group. This company is a private equity investment firm focused on providing capital to help companies grow. The shares have risen in price by over 90% in the last five years and the dividend yield is almost 4% spread over two payments a year. Dividend growth is really impressive with the company raising the dividends for 14 years in a row. £1,000 invested five years ago would now be worth £2,098. I'm now going to look at some real estate investment trusts or REITs. A REIT is a company that owns, operates or finances income generating real estate. Examples are apartment buildings and hotels, medical facilities, offices, retail centres and warehouses, which include all those huge metallic monsters we see sprouting up along our motorways. Now, remember the comedy series The Office? Well, that was based on Slough Trading Estate, which is owned by the first company I'm going to mention. Segro is a FTSE 100 company. The share price is up nearly 28% and it pays a dividend of 3.3% spread over two payments a year. Segro has increased the dividends an impressive 10 years in a row. £1,000 invested five years ago including dividends would be worth £1,443 today. The second best performing REIT is SafeStore, which is the UK's largest and Europe's second largest provider of self-storage. The shares are up 26% and the dividend yield is a healthy 4% spread over two payments a year. The company has been able to grow its dividend consistently for the last 14 years in a row. £1,000 invested five years ago would now be worth £1,464. Before I reveal the top REIT, if you want to get the ball rolling on your own investing journey, then Trading212 will give you a free share of up to £100 to help you get started. Just click on the link in the video description. The number one REIT in terms of total return is Sirius Real Estate. This company invests in business parks in Germany and the UK. Shares are up over 43% and a dividend yield is an impressive 5.1% spread over two payments. Dividends have been increasing for nine years in a row. £1,000 invested five years ago would now be worth £1,690 today. The third and final category of shares which meet my have everything criteria are other investment trusts. These public limited companies basically invest in a selection of other companies seeking to generate profit for their shareholders. We will start with Fidelity Special Values PLC. It aims to achieve long-term capital growth investing mainly in UK companies. The shares are up 11% in the last five years. Dividend yield is 3.1% spread over two payments. Dividends have increased 14 years in a row. £1,000 invested five years ago would be worth £1,268 today. At number three is Mercantile Trust, which invests in medium to smaller companies in the UK. The shares are up 11.2% and the dividend is 3.4%. Dividend payments have increased for the last 10 years in a row. £1,000 invested five years ago would be worth £1,282 today. At number two is 3i Infrastructure, which invests in a range of assets including utilities, communication and transportation. The shares are up 15.6% over the last five years and the yield is 3.6%. Dividend payments have increased 15 years in a row. 
£1,000 invested five years ago would be worth £1,336 today. And the top investment trust which meets my criteria is called Law Debenture. This trust aims to achieve long-term capital growth as well as a steady increase in income. It's mainly UK focused. Here are the top holdings and sectors that you would have exposure to. The shares are up nearly 34% and the dividend yield is 4.2% spread over two payments. Dividends have increased every year for the last 14 years. £1,000 invested five years ago would be worth £1,549 today. My own portfolio is also heavily focused on UK companies. To see what I hold and how it's performing, then click this video here.